Hello and welcome to Final Fantasy 13. Last time we just crossed the giant. Oh, I forgot to go look up how to pronounce it. Arch tile step. I don't. I'm. I'm just gonna be right back. This is embarrassing. Google Translator. Aqua <clears throat> step? So the step is right. Aqua? Really? Aqua. Okay, I'm just going to call it the arch. Aqua step? That's really weird. Um, okay. So yeah, that's a great first minute of a video to hear me try to pronounce the Arkle Step, evidently. It's the Arkle Step! Why is it pronounced that way? Whatever. I was using Google Translate. I probably should go look up an official pronunciation or use something else. I know it's a common word, but I obviously don't know how to pronounce it. Oh well. I think here's a cutscene. No, it's not. It's a different area. Transition to a different area. The yellow line, I think, signified that. Yep. New area. Alrighty like then. Great place for enemy ambushes. This is the second location. It can, is basically of two areas. And you have one area like this that's still... That's, decently big. I mean, like, like, this doesn't really show how big it is, but it's decently big. And there's a safe station. As long as my power doesn't go out. Uh, speaking of that, I should go save. Oh I just... I... I was playing Final Fantasy 12 a long time ago. And I freaking... I love 12, and I was going to get one of the freaking espers in the game. I was gonna go get the judgment one. It's like level 65 or whatever. One of the low-level ones at post-game low-level. I mean, and I'm just gonna go catch it. I'm gonna get it. it might have been in the 50s. I was gonna go freaking add it to my team, and I freaking I beat it. I'm like, yeah, woohoo! I beat it. This amazingly somewhat difficult enemy. And then I was a little bit freaking my parents. This is like eight. I'm doing something with power and power is all. And I'm just like going. I hope it's saved, because you know back then I didn't know you had I, I knew but I what I didn't know, you know. So I lost the save file and had to Damn that game was fun though. I don't care. That game was fun to me. That is an opinion. Alright? I can have my own opinion. Because I am a person. And I, I exist inside this world that we live in. 12 was a fun game. I could set up its, I could set up my AI. And if shit got real, I could set it to game pause mode. Where I press X and it gave me... It would pause the game and gave me time to choose my options. And that's if shit got real. So I freaking loved that game. Oh, I never tried to fight Omega though, because um, I don't want to try to fight Omega. I don't want to try to do the other boss fight where it took like hours to beat. And it, mm, I did look it up though. Like they had bubble and everything going, and it was just such a fun boss fight to watch for a few moments. Can I copy? You know, I can't gonna go to commando commando medic not medic ravager then we're gonna go to get our solidarity class which is already there perfect combat clinic perfect delta i want to move combat clinic down though 
Solidarity is perfectly fine where it is. Commando, Sentinel, and Synergist. Delta attack is if uh, if we really need to. Alrighty, then. that's good. We're, we're good to go there. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm really low level because <laughs> like this whole area is giant. And, oh, we got a new gun blade, which I don't think we need. We're just gonna keep fighting these things, and I'm gonna keep telling my stories. Twelve was such a fun game. I only really didn't like Vaughn. <laughs> I gotta find the picture that's hysterical. It shows off all the main uh, plots of Final Fantasy games, the newer ones anyways. I'm gonna go add that photo here while I'm talking over this game. And I just love Vaughn's explanation of, I'm relevant to the plot! And it's just like... Bond was the least relevant character, second only, no, not even second only to, he's the least, least important character in the entire game, in my opinion, when it comes down to the six main characters, because like, Barthier, Fran, they did stuff, Pinella was the freaking plot point for having to go into the freaking mines anyways, and then you have Ash, spoiler, and... I'm spoiling a game, I'm not even playing. And, oh, I can't remember his name. Why can't I remember his name? Oh, this is killer. I got all, I got five of the six names and I cannot remember the last name. This is bad. But I'm not sure anymore, obviously. I mean, like, I don't remember it. Oh, uh, yeah, Bart here, which was, uh... Because I'm the main character. I'm the hero. I'm the main guy. Kind of, like, snows things. How he's going on and on about how he's the... Oh, no, he... No, Bart Theer was like, I'm the lead man. I have the lead role. And Snow is similar to him because he's talking about how he's always the hero. But, uh, wow, I feel bad. I don't know who he is. Wow, I just feel terrible. Because he has a brother to an extent, a very look-alike person that's not his brother, like when I was a little kid, I thought they were. Maybe they might be brothers, I don't know. Are they weak to fire? Yep, they're weak to fire, so there's no need to do any other attacks on them. May as well use a uh, Libra on the next time we see them. And uh, I just don't know. Combination of the two, right? You got sneak attack though, so it's all good. Uh, I'll look it up once I get the chance. And it was just, I absolutely love I put. I know that's not much in all reality compared to like what I put into Skyrim, but I put a hundred hours into that game without mods. I just sat there and played that game, trying to level up, trying to get everybody. I'm not even max level. I grinded at least ten of those last hundred hours. I'm like level eighty or something like that. I just freaking love playing that game. It's such a freaking. Then you can build up your chain. Not like the chain bonuses in this game, but you have a chain inside that game. Where the more enemies you killed of the same type, they would drop better and better loot. So I would just sit there and grind skeletons inside the. Uh, uh, they were like level 80, not level 80, but they were seven skeletons inside one of the parts of the game that's not mandatory for the main quest. You know, just sit there and grind the skeletons. Get out of here. I got to the point. Oh, we don't want an upgrade. Uh, I got to the point where they did upgrade, right? But man, I got to the point where I was just like, oh, you know what? I'm wasting time. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna sit here, take off everybody, and just have Vaughn go out there and kick ass. And then, like, Vaughn's leveled up. Okay, he's done with him. Go to Barthier. And mm, if I ever do a let's play of that game which is HD remake plucks 
um, I will be playing as Barthir. He is like my my freaking favorite character in that game. I he wasn't my favorite when I first played it, but then like the more and more I played it, the more and more he just became my favorite character. He's not gonna be using guns, or he might be using guns. I want to do this. I don't know. I don't know. That. Oh, then we have. Um, let's see if I can remember the names from. No, I can't. <laughs> I was going to try and remember the names from Final Fantasy X. Oh, we are dead. We are deader than dead. Oh. Shit. Redo. <laughs> Redo. We're going to die. Um, We're going to die. Uh, you have Lulu. Yuna. Of course, Titus. Everybody knows Titus. I feel even worse now because I I tend what got me into this series. Hell, I know. Uh, I don't even know the villain's name. Uh, no, no. If you go by the actual, I uh, guess, devil of the series of that saga, it would be Sin. Oh wow, Riku! How did, can I forget Riku? That's bad. Um, that's really bad. Uh, lightning. Please stay away. Oh, okay, you got closer. I'm okay with this, though. She survived. It's all good. When they self-destruct... Probably should have mentioned this. Uh, when they self-destruct, they do not drop anything. So, that's... Uh, new enemy here? No? Oh, man, never mind. I thought we were going to be facing the uh, new enemy. Here, but that's on the other path. So let's be very careful here because this is not going to be a good fight. Let's see, 10 got me into it. I love the sphere grid. That's one of the reasons why I kind of like the Chris game of this game, but I don't. Because I like the sphere grid. I actually like the license board, even though it's really generic. If they ever release the Final Fantasy 12 HD remake, I hope they do like what I've heard with what they're doing with 10. Well, they're releasing the international version of the game, which just mm, nerd gas. I've never went on my way to import the uh, international version of the game. Because, you know, I understand. It's usually just the But they released the whatever. I always enjoyed it. But um, oh, so you have Sin. Then you have his father, Titus' father, which was Jay. Was it just Jay? Because his, um, his blitz move was called the Jay Shot. Might have just been Jay. I'm pretty sure it was just Jay. How am I forgetting the Red Coat guy's name? He looks so cool with his. Uh, he drinks a lot of alcohol before, before he does his major attacks. Um, I can't remember his name! Lovely! This is going to be a fight against a Berserker, maybe? It looks like a, a Berserker door. Oh no! It's just another one of these guys. Speaking of these guys, we actually almost got to the point where they are a common enemy. Because two levels from now, they are going to be a common enemy. Oh! Um, we are not ready for this fight. If he can kill us in two swipes, a uh, general rule when you're playing a Final Fantasy game, any game, in fact, any RPG, if they can kill you that fast, just don't try. Just casually walk away, come back later, when you can take more than two hits, I'm oh, not saying when you can take three hits, because that's just not worth, you know, that's not worth putting up with. Yeah, it's just. Change of plan. Ten got me into the series, and I can't remember so many. I know you basically. Uh, spoiler alert! I'm gonna freaking put up spoiler skips hopefully inside this video. I know you basically killed God inside that game. Not 
as in God, God, I mean God, I mean God as in the common order we use God, like the, like the Roman gods. It's just a god of the series that you kill, and you kill it because the it was not happy. Um, one thing I absolutely loved about that world was how corrupted it was. And, um, one thing, it actually showed the corruption though, because you go through a, a technologically advanced town that was destroyed by Sin, and it was just, you saw the destruction Sin left in his wake, and you just, you just saw what he does to people who try to be too advanced, and yet we still have these Blitzball courts that make no sense why we still have them. Let's try to avoid this fight. Last time it didn't go so well, and it just... Uh, can we avoid this fight as well? Because those are also bombs, and I don't want to fight them. Thank you. This is just two bombs. You should be fine. It was Sphira, I think. That was the name of the... Was it Sphira or Sphira? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sphira? That was the world, and you had the Sid, who was... Um, Sid's always in the game. The game can't be without him. The game... The chocobos can't be without the game. The game can't be without chocobos. It's just that's one of the reasons why I'm a fan of this series. Like I did get into this series by playing a, fi a freaking new Final Fantasy. I'm sorry. But I played Final Fantasy 10, and then I got Final Fantasy 12 because I like 10. I didn't get 11 because it was a freaking online MMO. And. I mean, like, of course, now I'm actually kind of interested in 14. So it's not... It's just that when I was a kid, I didn't really want to play with other people. And I'm over here playing, like... But Def Defiance is not a good example, either. Because Defiance, you can kind of just do your own thing. You don't really need to play with people. But yeah, I'm just sitting here, and we want to attack the big box guy. Because he is going to get rather annoying. Big box guy is basically a spawner. He will actually spawn these guys. He's like the frog again. Change of plan. Uh, version upgrade. I don't think that's an issue. Uh, I don't think the dragon is a big problem right now, except for the fact that he's not dead yet. I switched over to this mainly because I want to get the heat off of Hope. Hope he's gonna die right now. Let's use Renew. We haven't used that. Yet. Can these guys even be provoked? The regular ones? Uh, no, they can be. Huh? Not good. What were they called in? Were well, they just called summons? Were they also called Edelon for that game? Uh, were they? I don't know what they were called. They had Esper's at 12. Change of plan. I do know that only the summoner could summon them though, so... Stay away from the... S I love that video so much. Um... This is not looking good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get uh, Phoenix down up on her Fang. Combat clinic is needed now. And so it ends. If you kill the little guys before you kill the big guy, I'm pretty sure he spawns them. Let's retry that. Because we have a few things, and I'm, I, I told you, I feel like I'm severely under level. This kind of proves it. Let's go with haste. I don't want to use the deception one, because we may actually need that for later. That's kind of like the one I want to use as the worst case scenario. It's way too bad I want to use it. But yeah, let's just use the advantage of haste to try and stagger this thing as fast as possible. And once it's staggered, we'll see what we can do. Maybe go to Solidarity. But you do not want this thing to spawn more. I'm pretty sure it can spawn more. 
issue orders on Goku that Saban has been in a long time. They now have their attack up, which is lovely. Go to this quickly. Get healed up. Uh, let's try to kill it quickly. And once it's dead, we should be able to move on with our life. Because these guys should not be that bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just did 600 damage when I want to hit. And they're all attacking and they're not being distracted by... Mm, this is not good. This is not good. Go back to Neo, please. Thank you. Dodge the attack barely. Oh, God. That was, this is not good. It's been, they're being provoked. Well, one of them is now. Anyway. There we go. It's dead. Alrighty then. They are buffed up. Holy shit. Do I have a cyber team class? No, I do not. Oh, I need to work on that. Maybe make... Get rid of this class for it? No, let's uh, do this, though. This should make life a bit easier. See, so yeah, that's what version upgrade does. And it makes them really buff and really annoying. Why we don't want that. But hey, it's um I'm very weak obviously. I am under leveled, I'm kinda of just going through this. And uh, yeah, it's not easy. This game's easy if you take the time to grind, which I will be doing shortly. Most likely after this cave after this cave we have a little after the cave, you have the part that I'm talking about, which is this tower. A Grand Pulse Falci made this path. Yep. I bet it's off digging more tunnels right now. They seem different from all the Falci we've seen on Cocoon, you know? It's like they just plow through without caring what happens around them. That's true. Then again, we were able to build our village on land cleared by Falci. We lived alongside them, just like you do on Cocoon. Oh yeah, this is just like Cocoon. In a world this big, who knows what we'll find. Alright, sorry about that. I um went to go take a small break and said that small break. I did not take the time to go look up what's what. And I Oh crap, I have that much uh CP saved up? That's pretty cool. I didn't think I had that much saved up. I guess I'm used to that like that much, about thirty thousand took us who knows how long inside the previous Ooh, Spelga, really? Oh sweet! That's a TP move. We call it TP to use, and we can actually use that. Awesome. At least I think it is. Let's go to Sentinel, because that would help us out greatly with Fang. And the reason why I've actually been leaving in a lot of the battles is because for me, when I'm playing this game, I find it hard to stay on subject post-battle, because normally it's just like, oh, that battle was a pain or something like that, so it's just easier to deal with the battle and keep it in instead of all that stuff and have a slightly longer part if I actually do get on to talking something like freaking... I'm, I'm obviously a fan of Final Fantasy if I'm posting a freaking playthrough of one of the worst. I like the game, I like the characters, even though I bitch about Hope. I do like his character inside the sequel. And I just like Final Fantasy. It's a relaxing game to play, even though the game's boss fights can be, and I did not get the sneak attack, so this is going to be a difficult fight. Uh, let's go to this class real quick. Alright. I don't even know if Hope knows area attacks yet. AoEs. I don't think he knows AOEs, and I'm I'm gonna die. Oh, let's just keep going until I die because uh, bull oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, death. No. It's all right though. Like I said, I feel like I'm extremely underleveled. 
the earth works. Let's try. Yeah, but what are these things? There are new post workers. What are they called? Post work centurion. So same thing as last time, just poop all over them and hope for the best. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can kill it fast enough. The goal here is to stagger both and kill them fast. And that's probably not going to work out too well. Because this thing's done being staggered. Got a nice little hit in though. Hopefully the other one's close to death. Because uh, this thing's going to take another stagger. Let's see if we can distract them, because they, uh, they don't need to. They don't need to attack. Oh, speaking of losing power, there's a freaking thunderstorm out. Uh, yay! Um, funny story with that, actually. One of the things that kind of made me laugh when I just finally decided to play Final Fantasy VII, so... I really do like Seven. I just haven't played it since because of this. I played two hours of it. I played through the opening and all the way up until you had the... It was with... Wow, um, this sucks. Is it Tifa Lockhart? I think it might be. I think it's Tifa. Yeah, Tifa Lockhart and Cloud were reminiscing about Sephiroth and all that stuff. And it was just like going... Oh. Anyways, throughout the whole two hours, as soon as I booted up the game, a thunderstorm started and it stayed on throughout the whole two hours. I turned the game off. As soon as I like backed out of the game, I bought it on the PlayStation Network, by the way. As soon as I backed out of the game, the thunderstorm just like it stopped being loud and shit. It was just like going, what the fuck is happening? I'm I know it's just a coincidence, but it's fun to just like think about stuff like that. Just like that could have actually been related. Speaking of, I'm I'm such an like I can't help it. I'm a compulsive buyer when it comes to games I really do like and enjoy. Freaking, if they had Final Fantasy 13 on the PC, like on Steam, if they released this game on Steam, boom, I would instantly buy it. Unless it was $60, of course. If it was like $20, though, I would instantly buy it. Because I'm a compulsive buyer when it comes to stuff on Steam. Like, freaking, I have Bioshock Infinite on Xbox, of course. My my playthrough was on Xbox, actually. And what did I do? As soon as it was available on Steam for freaking thirty dollars, bought it. Boom, bought it, played it. I'm playing it again. I'm enjoying the game. It's a lot more fun on PC. And it's just like it's something about Steam. The fact that they have all these sales going on, it just <clears throat> makes me just get games fast. Just like, it doesn't matter what game it is. Like, I have about 10, 20, maybe even 30 games right now that I've bought. Just because they looked cool, and I thought I would play them, and I haven't played them yet. Games I've bought, again, every single Call of Duty game except for three. I like this series, I'm sorry, don't kill me. <laughs> I like Call of Duty. There's a reason why I buy their games every year knowing that it's just going to be the exact same thing. I'm basically the casual that they're aiming at. I, I enjoy Call of Duty for well. It's a fun game to mess around in. Actually, how dare I say funny? Though that is few and far between. It's not like it's rare. It's not like I play the game. When I play the game, I play until I stop having fun. When I stop having fun, that's normally the time where I decide, hey, I'm not having fun anymore, it's time to get off the game. There are games where I go extremely good, there are games where I go extremely bad. When I say extremely good, I don't mean like 124, because that's ridiculous. I mean, I go like, best I've gone is like Black Ops 2, which probably would be about 50, uh, 50 to 10. No, 60, it was 64 and 13, I think. And then the best I went inside, what would it be? It's like Black Ops, the first game, was actually my best Call of Duty record ever, with about 50, 
four, I think, and two. And that was just because I was using the HK21 because I got bored. I decided I would try to use it. And I got like 20 something kills with it. And I was like, going, oh, well, great, I'm out of ammo. Picked up other people's guns and went on a tear until I died. And I was just getting started. No, not, not 20 kills, about uh, 15 kills. And I picked up another gun. I don't, I don't freaking know. I have the video on my Black Ops account. I should probably go look that up. But yeah, I mean, like, I was really happy that day. And Modern Warfare 2 was the only other Call of Duty game I did really good in. It was about 44 and 2. Once again, I'm not great, but I even I can get those games every once in a while. Modern Warfare 3, I liked the guns. I did not like the way they did lag comp. And I liked the support class because it gave people like... I did not like that they had the freaking care package hey, drop thing like in it. I didn't right. like they had the uh, Blackbird in there, I believe. I mean, like, aside from that, I love the care, the support care package. Not care package, shit. The support... What did they call them? They called them packages, I think. Support package. And that's because it fit my playstyle. I, I died a lot, and I would, just, I would just have to get one more extra kill slash point to get what I wanted, which would... Probably end up being something along the lines of. It would probably just be something along the lines of. Oh. I mean, like a UAV. I, I don't know how I got lost. It takes one extra point to get a UAV, one extra point to get a counter UAV. I was fine with that because, I mean, like, I sucked at the game. Not every single life I could get a UAV. Though, in retrospect, that's probably not the best way to play the game because then it just takes longer to get a UAV. But it was a fun game, and I would play with my friends. Uh, Drone 7, there was a time where I would just play as a UAV man. I would put on support class, and just put UAV, get four kills, UAV, four kills, UAV. It didn't matter what, I would just always get the UAV up in the sky. And I enjoyed that, because it was just a, a different way of playing the game. Which is why I'm also excited for Ghost. The only thing I don't really want to see go away from Ghost is what they is that way off? I think it is. I could hear stop a bit. What a noisy foul see that one. There's treasure down here though we want to get. And I'm probably just gonna make this part longer than all my other ones just because I uh, why not? It's a giant cave. There's a thunderstorm outside. Why not just have this be one giant mega episode, I guess. thing is just going on a tear. Of course I will be getting to the point where I'm going to start cutting up these battles, but hey, I, I'm enjoying this right now. Which is, I, I went over this, like why I do videos. Like, oh crap, that fight! <laughs> that fight over there was not going to be fun. Oh, let's boost up our characters just a little bit. Every bit helps. I see that fight and it's like, oh, I'm done! I'm done talking! <laughs> uh, oh, that, that was weird. Was there a safe station somewhere near me? <laughs> I know I'm laughing now, but the moment it happens is the moment I throw my mic in rage. Oh, wait, band camp's probably ruined. Uh, <laughs> there's a thunderstorm, we're doing band camp inside, guys. Oh, no one wants to do it inside. Too bad. Oh, uh, there was not a safe station nearby. So... Doing a different setup attack here, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys how it works. It didn't work. All right, then that fight did not go the way I wanted it to. I had to use the decept all thing that I said I didn't want to use. Oh well, you can't buy those. This is the whole, whole reason why I don't want to use them. But then I was thinking, most of the side quests that you, I was thinking about using them for later on, you can't use them anyways because the enemies, or uh, most of them auto-detect you no matter what you use. So, I just switched it out. But yeah, the... As you can tell, that's the uh, only enemy so far I think that I'm really that under-leveled for. That 
freaking box enemy because when his little buddies buff up around him, it creates one hell of a show. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot. Lightning's return, I'm looking forward to. I'm looking for some custom ability. Like, how many outfits are they actually going to have and what are their effects, anyways? As far as I know, they're supposed to change how you can play the game. I'm looking forward to how the combat works because it looks interesting, just like how I was looking forward to how the combat worked for a freaking 13 and then it, it turned into this. Which is. Whatever. I only fell asleep doing it because I was actually tired. Okay, I'm sorry. Alrighty then, let's, uh, let's keep going. What's over here? Freaking 35 minutes already. Uh -huh. I have to cut out a bit of the uh, thing in between. And we are actually going to be ending this long ass part off here because this is uh, a place of great importance later on. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.